So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who's sleeping by my side? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Glad you guys could join me today. I am taking a little bit of a break from fall decor because I got a new bag. So I figured I would do a what's in my bag, how to organize your bag, what you need to go out in your bag kind of video. I haven't made one in a while. They're always a favorite and they're always a favorite of mine too. Even though they're like a super old school, they're always fun to watch. I guess us ladies just like to know what other ladies carry in their bags. So hello to everybody. My name is Tina. I'm glad again that you're here. For all my new subscribers, hello and welcome. And for everybody who's been here, thank you again for tuning in. I so appreciate it. If you want to take a minute, hit that subscribe button and the notifications button and all that good stuff down there, that would be fantastic. I would really appreciate you being a part of my YouTube family and supporting my channel and, you know, just kind of getting in on the ground floor with me and just kind of watching it grow with all of your help. I just think, you know, we're all sisters and, you know, to love and support each other and to help each other and to inspire each other to just be the best people we can be is just so important. It's important to me. That's why I subscribe to so many of your channels and leave you comments because it's really important to me for women to help women. It just really is. And um, I totally love all of your channels and I'd love it if you guys would want to stay here with me. So before we get started, um, I just wanted to let you know that my bag, my necklace, my shirt, all that is from Amazon and I will link down my link tree below and in my link tree it will take you to uh, my Instagram, my Facebook, my Amazon storefront. So my bag will be under handbags and organization, obviously jewelry under jewelry, my shirt and anything like that that I have that I recommend um, will be under the clothing part. So I was also thinking of starting um, kind of like fabulous over 50 kind of looks for people. So if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing like my everyday attire, what kind of clothes I buy, how I style myself, if you guys are interested in, in that, let me know because I'd love to do videos on that as well. And definitely follow me over on my Instagram, uh, Treasures by Tina 28 because I post all kinds of things over there. So enough with all that. I know we want to get into the handbag. So let's get started. <laughs> We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Okay guys, well this is the bag that I recently just purchased from Amazon and it's by the brand, it's either called Stable or Stabile, I'm not sure, kind of like Fragile and Fragile, if you guys watch A Christmas Story, but um, I think it's Stable, S-T-A-B-I-L-E, but for the sake of it, I'm just letting you know. Um, so this is the bag that I recently purchased, and I don't really have a lot of, I, call, I would call this a smaller bag um, to go out with. I'm usually always carrying my big like Dyson bags, and those are great for every day. But if we're just gonna go out to dinner or we're going over a friend's house or you know just getting together somewhere or you know something like that, I don't always want to bring the whole big bag with me. So I try to condense what I need into a smaller bag. And I love this one, so let me just tell you about it. So it is black and I think it also comes in white. Um, it has the gold clasp, it has this detachable chain, which I really love. And if you can see it, it's very, very sturdy and very good quality. So that I was really impressed with. And it does have a little latch up here. So if you don't want the chain, if you're not gonna carry it over your shoulder or as a crossbody, you can take it off just to use it as a regular bag. But it has um, the quilting on it, which is kind of gives it a little bit of a like Chanel vibe, I think. Um, it does have the fold over flap, it's quilted. Um, on the back it is structured, so it's not, um, overly extendable, I guess. Um, kind of what you see is what you get with this bag, so keep that in mind. Um, the bottom is flat, so that's always nice. And, um, and it does have the little clasp on the inside, so you can cinch the sides if you wanted to. I never do, um, but at least the option is there if you did want to. 
And I think I would pretty much carry this mostly like this on my the crook of my arm. I'm really tall, I'm 5'8", so sometimes cross bodies end up hitting me at a funny spot. And even with the chain, I might actually just keep it on and let the chain drape just because I do that all the time. I don't know if you guys do that, but I love the chain. So I might even like hold it up like this and just have the chain draping just because I, I don't know, I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. Um, so I would probably just keep it on, but at least that option is there. So if you want to take it off, you can cross body, you can hang it from your shoulder, you can, or, you know, just by the quick, the, the quick of your arm, <laughs> the, you know, inside your arm right there. Um, so this is it and this is the side so you see it does have those snaps and I think yeah this unsnapped it so it can snap and it can unsnap whichever way you guys prefer and in the back it does have a slot right here so if you wanted to like put your phone in here or something um, that you would have easy access to at least that's there so you can um, I always like to have that option I don't know if I would always keep my phone there. I'd always kind of fear that it would fall out. I would mostly store it inside my bag. But if I had to put it there, I was waiting for like my son to respond to me or somebody to respond to me. I could keep it right there because I know I'd be reaching for it, you know, again soon. So that is it. And the clasp again, it's called very sturdy and it just turns once and then it opens up. So let me show you the inside and I already have my stuff in there, but it does have that red, um, it's not really a like velvety material. It kind of feels almost like a polyester material on the inside, but it does have lots of spaces. So it does have a zipper pouch in the back. It does have a little zipper center right here. And then in the very front, it has another um, little pouch. This one does not have a snap on it. So keep that in mind. Only one of them has a closure. And the one in the middle has a closure too. And the one in the back, the one in the front does not. Um, so I just want you guys to know about that. But it does have the red color inside it, which I love. So the first things I'm gonna show you is, now to, for me to take this out, I'm a big bag girl <laughs> all the way. So I really have to adjust what I'm going to take with me and just take the necessities. Um, so in the far back, I'm gonna do this little pouch first, way in the back. And you guys are gonna laugh at me, but I call this my menopause fan. So it's a little fan I got from Amazon that's also in my Amazon storefront. So if you're looking for a little fan, it has a USB um, port in it, so it charges. And, and it's just a nice little fan. So if you're in the middle of a hot flash, ladies, <laughs> this is a lifesaver. And I've talked about it before, and it has two settings. It has a low and a high. And when we were in Mexico in immigration, the lines were like 500 people deep and it was hot in there. And I was so happy I had this fan. And believe you me, I think people were about to offer me money for this fan and I wouldn't have sold it for all the money in the world. And I think it was like $6. So if you're somebody who gets hot really quick or you're like me and you're in the hot flash stage of your life, these are a lifesaver. But that fits in my little pocket in the back and I always bring this with me everywhere I go because you never know. So that is in the little bag, in the, in the little pouch in the back. And then I always take some of my cute little treasures by Tina cards, because I pass them out um, to people who I think would be interested, or if I just start talking to somebody and they ask for one, you know, I never just like kind of say, hey, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> but if somebody should ask if we're in conversation about it, I will give them one. And then that's the only two things that I kept in this little, in this little, bag in the front. So just for the sake of the little pouches, I'm also going to do the little pouch in the front. And this is where I kind of just dropped um, like my hand cream. I have a ba Bed Bath & Beyond hand cream. I have my little powder. This is an LA Colors one. That's just like my to-go one. And then I have on um, what I'm wearing on my lips now. So I have a lip liner. I have um, this NYX lipstick and then I have Too Faced it's like a lip injection lip gloss and I got this from Ulta and then these two things I got from Amazon actually and I think it's in my makeup section of my storefront if it's not I'll double check and I'll make sure I put it in there if you guys are interested so that's in there 
And then I also take for my um, powder, I also got this, which I also got from Amazon, which is the same size as a little lipstick, but you open it up and it's your little uh, brush for your blusher or for your powder. So if you need to just like apply a little bit, get a little bit of a shiny nose, shiny, shiny nose, shiny nose, I can't speak today, guys. Um, then you can just hide this in there. This way it doesn't get dirty. It doesn't put powder inside your purse, which I hate. Um, and it's the same size as lipstick. So this was really a great find and I love this. So those items were everything I had in this little front pouch. And now in my zipper pouch in the middle, so this little zipper pouch in the middle. So in there I have, and I'm not gonna take it out just for privacy reasons, but I keep this little um, jewelry pouch in there and I put like any cash that I'm gonna be carrying or um, my ID, any cards. I, if I'm driving, I bring like my AAA card with me, I bring my insurance card with me, that kind of thing. And I'll put them in here or I have another little um, RFID block in wallet. I don't always use it because it does take up a lot of room in there. Um, so sometimes I'll just put them in these little jewelry, pou jewelry pouches. Um, if you're not worried about the RIFD blocking, I just use this. Never had an issue. Hopefully I never do. <laughs> um, but usually I would use like my smaller little wallet. But just for the sake of the video, that's what I was using. And that is all I keep in that little center pouch. I just like to have like one little thing in there. Um, and I just want to know where my money is or my cards are so I can get at them as easily as possible. And then my pen, of course. And then I still have this little pad. And you guys have seen this in previous videos, but since I can't eat donuts, I carry donuts. So this is just my little notepad. Um, so like if I need to pick up something um, like at the grocery store or somebody wants to, I need to remind myself of something or if I'm out somewhere and says, somebody says, hey, could you make a video about this? Like somebody did about my handbag. Um, and I was talking to some woman. So, you know, like I'll put my grocery list in there. So if we have to stop at the store or whatever, I won't forget anything. And I just use this for little jot downs. I think it's always good to carry a notepad with you because you never know when you're gonna need one. So I always carry that one. And then, oh, I have asthma. So I always carry my inhaler with me. It goes everywhere I go. Um, so obviously if you have any medicines or inhalers or things like that, you have to do. I might even put them in this little zipper pouch with my um, wallet or my little jewelry bag that I sometimes carry as a wallet just so it stays zippered in there and you don't have to worry about it. Sometimes I will bring my little um, pill case, which I've showed you guys before, and it's also in my Amazon storefront. Um, and I'll just throw a couple Tylenol or Advil or Excedrin migraine um, in there because I, I do like to carry that with me just in case. So there's that. And then because I have a wild mane, <laughs> so I always bring a little hairspray. This one's a little Tresemme one. And I'll always keep a little one in there so in Connecticut, sometimes in the summer, it can get humid. So if I'm out somewhere and I notice it's starting to get a little frizzy, like I'll go in the bathroom wherever I am and just kind of like wet it a little bit and then just spray it just so it stays where it is and it doesn't get out of control completely. Those of you with straight hair, I hate you. <laughs> I so wish I had straight hair. You have no idea. And it's so funny, even where I work or people will come in and they'll be like, oh, I love your hair, I love the curls. You don't, you have no idea what it's like and leave a comment below if you have curly hair or straight hair and if you want the opposite and why because I would love to know because I truthfully would love to have straight hair because then I have options I could wear it straight and if I go out in humidity chances are it's not gonna you know bring my hair from here out to here I can curl it if I want to I can do all kinds of things with it when your hair is like super curly and I have a relaxer in my hair and it's still this curly so curly hair you're just stuck with curly hair I mean, you really, you can blow dry it out and you can, you know, get all that stuff in there, but the minute humidity, or if you start to get hot, your hair will start to frizz and you can feel it at the root and it's not a, it's not pleasant. So be interesting to know curly hair, straight hair, what do you have? And if you do want the opposite of what you have, why? And that's my reason why. So always carry a little tresemme with me. And then the last little thing I have is just my glasses. And my glasses and my little case, these are blue light glasses. They are prescriptioned because um, I can't see anything. I read a menu literally 
you'd have to hold the menu at the table across from us for me to be able to see it. So I'm very nearsighted or farsighted. I'm nearsighted because I can't see. No, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> if you guys know, let me know. I always get confused with it too. I think I'm farsighted because I can't see near. And if you're nearsighted, you can't see far. I think it's the opposite. But anyway, so I have my blue light glasses in here and these also are in my Amazon storefront. As you can tell, I'm very much an Amazon girl and I'm sure you guys are too. Um, but you can buy these on Amazon and you can just put in what your prescription is and then you can get the glasses according to your prescription. And they block out the light. Like if you're on the computer a lot like I am, um, it's nice to have that blue light to block it because sometimes you can get headaches. Just a little fact for you. So anyway, that is it. So this is the purse empty. So let me give you a little better look. So you have the zipper pouch in the back. Then you have a little compartment. Then you have the zipper pouch in the middle that divides the two sections. Then you have another section in the front and you have another little pouch. And you also have this little pouch in the back. Um, if you need to put like your phone or maybe you needed a Kleenex or whatever you, you know, want to have on hand. You know, there's also, even after you put all your stuff in it, if you have your keys with you, your keys will fit in here beautifully. And um, I just got it. I haven't actually used it yet. I just kind of packed it for video purposes. But at least now I know all the things that I need to bring with me out, I can bring with me out. So this is, again, is the bag. And like I said, I think it definitely has that Chanel kind of look to it, which I love. Um, and I don't think it was that expensive. I think it was like 30. I'm not really sure. Um, but if you go look it up, or maybe I'll even put a direct link down there for the bag for you guys, but definitely in my Amazon storefront, you'll find all kinds of things that I recommend and that I wear that I have kitchen stuff, decor, whatever it's all in there. So just so you know, I do get a small commission. If you purchase something through my Amazon storefront at no charge to you whatsoever. So I just want to let you know that, but anyway, um, so this is the bag. And I really think if you're looking for a good bag to go out, if you're going to a wedding, out to dinner, um, just going to go to a friend's house and hang out with everybody. If you're going visiting someone, um, just going to go sit somewhere and have a drink with your significant other. Perfect bag to bring. Like I said, it'll sit flat on the counter too. Um, so you don't have to put it on the floor, hang it next to you. Beautiful chain, great clasp. So I think it's a win. So anyway, that is everything that was in my bag and my bag. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do give it a thumbs, a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and let me know about hair, curly hair, straight hair, what do you have? And if you like the opposite, why do you want the opposite? As I already told you mine, I'd love to hear your guys' stories on your hair because if it's curly, I already know your story. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I think one of my next videos upcoming is I'm gonna make you guys keto pumpkin spice donuts. So you don't want to miss those because everybody loves a good fall favorite and I don't want you to guys to miss that one. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button, tell your friends and that one should be posted on Thursday. This is a little bonus video for you guys because I was so excited about the bag. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you later. Bye guys. So dehydrated, don't know what to say. Who was sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet. Be 